Welcome back, all you beautiful people, right here to your Feel Good Breakfast show on SABC3. Now, the next lady certainly needs no introduction. She bursts onto our TV screens back in the early 2000s. As a character, KB, we all loved her and stunned audiences with her smooth vocals and her beauty. Now, she has been entertaining Mzanzi as the fiery lawyer, Lesedi Malloy, on Siem Delan, and she joined Expresso via video call to share more about the show and life in lockdown. Good morning, Mama. Good morning, how are you? Good, and you, it's so amazing to have a legend like you on the show this morning. First, let me start off by saying happy belated birthday. Thank you so much, and thanks for having me. Oh, it's our pleasure. Listen, we are now on day 15 of the lockdown. What have you been getting up to in the past two weeks, and how did you celebrate your birthday, by the way? <laughs> well, with my birthday, just a lot of cake. I received a lot of love at home. And mostly just communicating with, you know, people on social media. There were lots of um, well wishes and birthday messages. So I spent a lot of time also responding to that, which was absolutely beautiful. Oh, that is so amazing, making the most of the time. But let's get into yes. the show, talking about the show. Siem Delan is, of course, in compliance with the regulations of the lockdown at the moment and shut down production late uh, last month. What does it feel like being away from set and then, of course, the family and working every <laughs> single day look it's, it's it's great being home um i get to spend a lot of time with my son but i also get to rest which i hardly ever do i do miss being on set but we keep on touch you know with the cast members we tease each other we respond to each other's um, posts on social media so we have been keeping in touch i'm just using the time to really just rest because it's something that i hardly do you really need to do that. How are you keeping him entertained and stimulated during this time as well? <laughs> well, um, there's a lot of PlayStation and a lot of board games, um, a lot of general knowledge. We like quizzing each other. So whatever he feels like doing, um, taking walks as well, you know, so it's, it's really special. You speak about the moment when you were a musical theatre student and luckily for viewers, they are still able to be entertained with their favourite soapy as there are still episodes in production until late May. Now, without giving away too much, what can viewers look forward to in the next few weeks? Just a little bit. Well, um, if you remember, you know, after Lisa, his dad left and Xander's passing and yeah. all of that, she, she hasn't really given herself time to deal with the loss, you know. And there's a secret that she's been carrying around with her for quite a long time, which I think the audience might have forgotten about. So all people are going <laughs> to... Look at me sitting at the edge of my seat, like, tell me more, tell like, me more. Actually, you do know the secret. So I won't tell you, but, you, but I think people forgot about it because she hasn't been addressing it in quite a while. So I think, um, you know, we're just going to see a little bit more of how she deals with it and how she interacts with everybody and just try and forge, you know, new relationships with the people around her in Hillside. We are definitely looking forward to that. Speaking about it, I, I, I saw on your Instagram, you were speaking about when you were a musical theatre student and then now Siem Delan is celebrating 20 years in the industry. What does that full circle moment feel like for you? It's really special. I remember when I was a student, I used to watch Siem Delan on my small TV at Res. You know, I used to watch Matrona. Black and white. And I remember... <laughs> I remember the first time I had a scene with her, it was really humbling. And, you know, just like you say, it, it, I felt like I came full circle with the show. Mm. And I'm really also proud of all the cast members that have been there for such a long time. Um, for someone like me, most of the soapies that I've done, I've sort of come more or less at the beginning of the show. And, and coming into Seven Delan um, just three years ago, you know, has allowed me to, to, to become a student again, to learn again and... and, and and it re-inspired me, you know, as, a, as an artist to sort of uh, fit into a new project. Mm. That is a new project for me, but, I, but that has a history and has been there for a long time. So it's really awesome to be part of such a, such a legacy. We stand, Queen. Now, everybody, of course, has a silver lining or discovered something that they are good at right now, grateful during this lockdown. What is something you're grateful for right now in this period? Um, you know, part of the lockdown... Mm, you are able to deal with the do you need a lot to be able to 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 handle the lockdown and and realizing that you know i, I have a roof over my head you know i have clothes on my back mm -hmm. i have food on my table it made me very grateful and and also sort of um empathize more with the people that that have less than we do and i realized that most of the time we don't realize that we can do with a lot less mm -hmm. <laughs> 
you know, so I, I'm just really grateful for for my health. I'm grateful for life. Um, and um, yes. <laughs> You are so amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that words of wisdom with us. But you at home, be sure to catch KB as Lissedi as well as all your favorite characters on Siem Delan weekdays at 6 p.m. only on SABC2.